What is up, my dudes? I'm back at it again with another video. It's been so long since I posted that last video that I still haven't even uploaded yet when I'm recording this video um, of putting Christian's motor together, um, this car. And uh, I come to you today with everything finished. Uh, <laughs> the only thing we really have to do with this thing is um, full exhaust and I need to do a catch can system because right now we don't have a catch can on it um, so but in this video today will be the first start of Christian's car uh, if you guys didn't know this is a um, Y8 Viterra build long rod with a Z6 crankshaft um, built by me motor trans I didn't build the manifold but downpipe intercooler all this stuff done by me um, yeah today will be the first start so um, without further ado let's get on to this I put fluids in it coolant um, oil trans fluid I put uh, I pumped out 93 or the 87 that was in it and put 93 in it's got about six and a half gallons of 93 um, and we're gonna get the first start in here today um, just real quick a little view of the intercooler setup made brackets up here brackets on the bottom and uh, it really isn't going anywhere I cut the uh, bumper support or the bumper whatever you want to call it and made it fit so that the intercooler fits there if we do have um, intake air temp issues I'm gonna cut holes in this and the bumper so it feeds it more air but we really shouldn't that intercooler is pretty big and we're only trying to make 300 this is gonna be a daily for him so um, we've got the HKS super sequential so that'll sound different than normal um, yeah, so I'm going to get um, Hector's car pulled out of here, this red one, which you guys will see a video on when we start tuning it. Um, I did all the work for that too, but I'll show you guys that in another video. I'm going to get Hector's car pulled out real quick and then we can get um, started on moving this thing over and getting it ready for the first start. So let's go. This is the first time this car's been moved in so long. I need to clean this up. I need to do a lot of cleaning. Get a few cars out of here. Get this thing straightened up. Look like a proper shop. Anyways, let's get on to it. All right, for fresh rebuilt motors, like this one, what I really like to do is, obviously don't start it right away. I needed to get lubrication. We need to prime with oil. So I unplug the distributor like normal. I unplug the injectors like normal, but I also take out the spark plugs. This allows, for free compression so there's no compression that is pushing on the pistons that would keep it like would push the piston and the rod bearing down on the crank so what we want is just if you wanted to free float basically get oil pressure and then we can have compression by putting the spark plugs in so i have those out already so we're going to crank it until we see oil pressure on the oil pressure gauge and uh yeah we'll see how this goes i will be pushing in the I will be pushing in the clutch, which I usually don't like to do, but um, it is what it is, so. Um, injectors are off, or unplugged, no spark. Let's see, does it crank? It does crank. 
Prints pretty good too, honestly. You can hear it picking up speed a little. Oil pressure's not saying anything. That's not good. Let's crank it some more. There it goes. Oil pressure went up to five. Uh, it's definitely getting oil pressure. One more time for verification. Takes a little bit. Look at the oil pressure gauge. 19 falls down. Well, that's good. So we got oil pressure. Cool. Oil pressure. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Alrighty, boys. We've got oil pressure. I have the injectors plugged back in. I have the spark plugs back plugged back in. Plug into the distributor. Like that. Put it back on this little clip. Like stock? Motherfucker? All right, let's see if this thing will fire up. All right, key in, pump priming. We're live with ECU, we're in neutral. Here goes nothing. I'll wait for the wide band to come online real quick. All right, let's go. I took some fuel out of it um, it just wanted to idle high so I think we might have a vacuum leak but it started uh, I gotta figure out the vacuum leak because I need it to warm up and yeah we'll see see how it goes from there we don't have any any leaks whatsoever I'm gonna check the coolant gotta add some cool I don't know what the fuel pressure is because we don't have a fuel pressure gauge but we will get one shortly um, we try to find a leak if there is one and or adjust the throttle body down and then we'll get another start all right I turned the throttle body down some so hopefully it a little lower let's see what happens here hopefully it's not stupid rich again gonna let the wide band do its thing I know it says the check engine lights flashing like it's got a code but it's not there's no codes currently it'd be illuminated if there was but Let's see if it'll idle a little better this time. Oh, that's a lot better. AFRs are better too. So that's good. Um, it's probably meant to idle at 1400 at this coolant temp, so it'll come down. But I'm going to let it warm up and do its thing and then yeah and then we'll see how it goes it is still a little a little bit rich um so yeah i'm gonna take some fuel out watch it idle and see how it goes all right so start up it runs i think we have a vacuum leak because the idle i cannot control uh and i um the throttle body is basically as far closed as it wants to be um so we have a i think we have a vacuum leak and the, I believe the, um, either the oil pressure sensor or the fitting that feeds the turbo the oil is actually leaking. So I have to address those two issues. And yeah, I mean, it runs, started up, we got the warm up in, um, it got to like 180. I didn't want to keep it running with the leak and the vacuum the way it is. So I'm going to try and fix those things. We'll warm it up again and then we will change the oil and try to get some tuning in. All right, so really the only thing that I could find was maybe that the throttle body gasket was leaking so i pulled that off i put um some gasket maker on both sides of the gasket um and i put washers on the nuts because there or the bolts because there wasn't any so let's try again let's see what happens here 
see if it um, holds an idle or if it does some extra weird stuff, you know? Let's see. All right, let the wide band do its thing real quick. Oil pressure, reading zero now. It was reading three, but that's good. That means that that's working as it should. All right, let's see. I didn't fix the oil leak. I'm just gonna see if it'll idle right. Now it's worse. 3,000 RPM. Maybe because I have the throttle body open more now. Let me turn that back down. That's crazy, but then that means that there's still a vacuum leak and I don't know where it's at. All right, if it does it again, I'm gonna just real time try to turn that down. So, let's see what happens. What the fuck is going on, bruh? All right, I guess I wasn't spinning it. I don't fucking understand, but I got it turned literally all the way down. So hopefully it works this time. Still the vacuum leak. <sighs> what the fuck? All right, this will probably be the last start for tonight because it's getting late and obviously this car is open downpipe. Um, I switched off our Chinese eBay piece of junk for an OEM OBD1 idle control valve that I pulled off uh, Carlos's B16 that's back there. You're about to check it live with me. Uh, this will be the first time I started it, so let's see what happens, right? Clean up everything so it doesn't fucking spill and fall on shit, but Let's see what happens. Um, I haven't changed anything but the idler control valve. So, the only difference is the idler control valve. Let's see what happens. Well, look at that, dude. That is like it should. All right, I'm gonna clean up all the shit off of it. I'm gonna let this thing warm up again and then I'm gonna change the oil. Thank God I found the fucking issue. So we need an OEM idler control valve, not some Chinese bullshit. So, yeah. All right, as you guys saw, the issue was the fucking idler control valve. I thought buying, you know, that piece off eBay would be decent. I thought it would at least work, but it, it literally didn't. It just stayed wide open. Um, and when I unplugged it, it like ran at like 600 RPM, 400 RPM, and then died. So I switched it out, OEM style IACV on there, and it idles perfectly fine. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna come in here, start, uh, I'm actually gonna get another warm up on it tomorrow morning, not tonight because it's loud, but tomorrow when I get in, warm it up again, change the oil, and then um, I need to source the throttle cable bracket, and maybe we can take it out on a drive or something, but headed home, good day so far. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, let me go ahead and get this thing started. I still haven't fixed the oil leak um, because I'm gonna do that when I change the oil because I'm gonna pull the filter off. So I'm gonna give this thing a quick, another warm up in quick. Hopefully it idles how it should. And we should be good to go. Change the oil and um, make a throttle cable racket. Maybe get it started and maybe drive it. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. But... All right, we're live with the ECU. We're in neutral. Let's give her a start. So at this coolant temp, it should be idling around 12 to 1300. Idle. See, it says 1200 there, and we're idling at about 12 1300. So I'm gonna let this warm up. Get the full and coolant temp. Wait for the thermostat to open. Check over everything. Yeah. It's probably a little lean under throttle, but I'm gonna let this thing warm up and we'll catch back up. Alright, I went pretty good, about a thousand RPM, it's kinda where I want it. A little rich, but that's okay. These are thousand cc injectors on pump gas. It says we're at 1% duty cycle on the injectors, so 
I mean, it is, it's going to be what it's going to be. It may not idle the perfect, the best, because it's 1.6 liter with 1,000 cc injectors, but it is what it is. We have good fuel, uh, oil pressure, 30 PSI at idle, so that's fantastic. Wait for this thing to warm up for the uh, thermostat to open. Once it opens, change the oil, fix our little bit of oil leak, and it should be good. Boost gauge, um, logging 20 inches of mercury, and our map sensor says 19, 18.9 to 20. So that's pretty good for so far. So. All right, fan did come on at 190, 192. Dropped down to about 185 when it turned off. So we're Gucci there. We got our warm up in. We got our braking in. Well, warm up. We go ahead and shut it off. I'm gonna let the fan cycle one more time and then we will shut it off and we will change the oil and let this thing do what it does, playboy. So, fan should come on right now. 192. Fan's on. It's moving some air. Pop the cork on the oil. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. And hopefully we should be good here. First drain. Um, it looks golden. I really don't see anything that concerns me as of yet. But let's let it drain down. And once it does, we'll know for sure what it looks like. Alright, if you guys can see, I don't see anything crazy. Um, there should all, I mean, usually there is very little metallic, but this looks like there's really none. So I'm gonna let this drip drain a little bit. We'll pull it out and take a better look. Alright, there, a lot of the stuff that you see is like casting in the fucking plastic, but there is some metallic in there, which is normal for a first start break in, so that's good. Um, all that looks pretty much ordinary to me. Um, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this oil filter taken off. Um, tighten the oil feed and put oil in it. And then we can um, sort a throttle cable bracket. I have to tighten the tie rod ends because they're not snug yet. And then um, maybe we can uh, take it out for a drive or something. So I'm gonna get all that done and we'll catch back up and see what we can do with some tuning. All right, so I know that they say to not have to put thread tape on these things, but um, every junction that was on here was tight and it was leaking. So thread tape, I put it on there, we're good. I'm gonna get this installed and then um, put the new oil in, new oil filter, and then get another start. And then I just gotta source, like I said, source the throttle cable bracket, tighten the tie rod ends, and we can probably take it out. So I'm gonna get this cracked out real quick. All right, we got fresh oil change, fresh filter. Um, I put in a zinc additive just to help with break in. Um, I got the front bumper on. I mean, it doesn't look perfect. I mean, it looks decent, looks good, it'll work. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a start. Um, Everything should go very smoothly. Um, I'm hoping that zinc additive helps a lot with break-in. Um, I tightened the outer tie rods, so everything should be good. So we can take it off for a spin. So, and, oh, I found a uh, throttle cable bracket too. So, alrighty, let the wide bin come online. I also have to set timing and stuff, which I haven't done yet, but. As you saw, I put the uh, thread tape on the feed line. So I'm hoping that that helps. Um, looks like I'll have to add some fuel into the warm-up enrichment. It's a little bit lean, but I'm gonna go ahead and check for leaks and see, see what's up. 
Alrighty boys, so we have zero oil leaks. We have zero leaks of any sort. There's some water on the ground from the exhaust, but we have no leaks. So that's perfect. That is what I want to hear and see. Um, I have to route a line from the valve cover down to the ground and from the little black box that's down there on the back to the ground. Um, I want those gases underneath the car. I don't want to breathe them in, so I gotta figure that out. Once I have that figured out, uh, I'm gonna set the idle. I mean, I'm set ignition timing, make sure it's spot on so that everything in the map matches what's at the engine. And from then, we can head out and do some driving, do some tuning. Um, I'll have to clean it another day, but yeah. So let me get that finished real quick, set that up real quick, and then we'll catch back up. Okay, ignition timing is set. Um, I had to retard it a little bit, it was a little bit advanced, but ignition timing is set. I don't know the fuel pressure, so that's not set. We will get a fuel gauge here soon, and I'll be able to set that. For now, we're just going to get things dialed the way that it is. I think it's probably roughly around 40-some PSI. It's idling pretty good, so that's good. Um, and the throttle body stop is set. I'm not sure if we're getting full throttle, though, so I'm going to set this up here real quick so I can take a little look at it and see if we're actually getting full throttle. So I know that that is full throttle. Now let me go press the pedal and see what happens. Really hope that's full throttle. All right, we're not getting, we're not getting complete full throttle. Um, I can tell you a percentage here in a second, but we're getting probably, it's probably about 93% full throttle. Um, it'll work for now, we're not going full throttle, so that's okay. Um, and I also got, um, I had these nylon lines run from the valve cover and the black box on my CRX when I had it, the B17 in it. I didn't have a catch can. I didn't need a catch can, it wasn't um, like, you know, it didn't have that much blow by, but whatever. Um, I had these, uh, these nylon lines ran just down to the ground and that's what I used again for this. Um, I basically just ran them to the ground and then I zip tied them, but they're not like to the ground, to the ground. Um, they come out right here. So a little bit of moisture, it's all good. This will just dribble down to the ground for now until we figure out a catch can situation. Well. Pacific is on his maiden voyage. It is loud and it is rowdy. Something like that. Alrighty.
brakes. First drive was a success. Let's go. Now, I don't know if this is because I don't have very much timing in the table, but, or if this, or if it's because this car is just a bigger car than an EF, but bro, Viterra setup in this car feels fucking slow. <laughs> like just putting around, like, although I'm putting around pretty good, it just kind of feels, feels very, very slow. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the map real quick. Take, make some changes 
and um, tomorrow we'll come back in and get a few more drives. We got a hundred miles to go before our next oil change. So yeah, first drive, the first startup that's finished. I hope you guys liked the video. Not very much cool stuff going on, but this car is coming to a completion. The only two things that we need to finish is a catch can system, which right now I have the lines routed to the ground and routing the boost controller. Once we have the boost controller ran, we can actually turn up or down or turn up the gate and make the goal of 300 that we want. Um, so yeah, dude, I'm excited. Hope y'all are excited. I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.